Hey everyone, welcome back to Make The Music. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down how to get a falling in reverse style guitar tone in my DAW. I'm gonna be using some stock plugins and an amp sim to show you how to build out a sample guitar tone that very closely resembles to the falling in reverse guitar tone. I'm gonna to be using the song Popular Monster to kind of gauge what that guitar tone should be. I did a little quick cover where we can mix in my DI guitar tracks and see if we can build out a tone very similar to what we hear on the song itself. I looked up information on the guitar tone for falling in reverse in general. I didn't get a ton of information uh, about like the amps used or the settings used. The album was also recorded over a long period of time. See if we can get something that fits really well in the mix. So I'll jump into my DAW and let's check it out. Okay, here's my session for this track. You can see I have my drums, bass, and synths kind of mixed down. And then I have my rhythm guitars here. All I have is a Reaper stock uh, EQ, which I'll reset to factory that we'll throw on later. But the DI sound like this. So I got no plugins on them. The bass and drums together sound like this. So we've got a kind of a nice bass line to go off of for building out the tone. The key with this guitar tone is falling in reverse has so many synth and vocal layers. I mean, vocals are loud and upfront in a falling in reverse track. They are really right there. So we need a guitar tone that fills out the mix, adds aggression and adds body to the overall sound, but doesn't get in the way of those really cool uh, vocal layers, vocal effects, synth layers, uh, special cinematic effects. We don't want it to be too in your face, but we want to fill out the aggression of the sound. So let's go to the bus here. Let's add a plugin. I'll use Bias FX2 for this one. I haven't done Bias FX2 in a while. So let's load up the plugin here and let's start messing around with some tones. We'll start in solo and then we'll come out of solo and we'll kind of start building it up as we go along. Thank you, Bias FX, for asking for my password. That's just amazing. Okay, so now we are in uh, the software here. Yeah, a Vox Sound Fender Deluxe, not gonna work. So let's replace the amp. This is gonna be high gain. Let's mess around with uh, some, well, let's start with a PV option, the 04 Insane V2. The Falling Reverse Guitar Tone definitely has a lot of, I would say, mids, upper mids. It's not too beefy in the low end. Remember, we've got sub information, we've got kick drums going off, bass drops firing all over the place. So we don't want a super subby tone, we don't want a super top end tone to get in the way of the synths and the vocals. That's a little more scooped. I want something in the vein of being Marshall-y, but not a full on Marshall sound. That's not a bad amp. We're just gonna have to demo some things out to see what we have here. It's not too far, it's a little crunchy. Let's try the Paul Arch. That's kind of the right kind of gain, but I do like to mess around just to make sure I'm getting somewhere. Let's try this. Mm. That's not bad. Let's try the invader. The lightning, a lot of amp choices here. Way too crunchy there. Let's try the, the 92 VH4. A little too scooped for my taste. Let's try the Bogner. Uh, a little too much crunch. Switch axe lead. I feel like we're getting close. I feel like the arch was the best and probably the closest to the sound. Let's swap out the cab. Let's try the rectifier. Thrasher. You know, I think the stock cab was the best thing we got. Let's, let's load that back up, the matched cab. Has a lot of nice upper mid information. Now let's come in with a drive pedal. This is the, uh, let's see, I don't think it's the OD08, let's see. Match tube, yes, it is the 808 OD here. 
Let's turn the drive down. We don't want to have too much gain, we want the right amount. That's just overdoing it. And too much tone and it'll be too mid-range top endy. That 4.5 seems to be a good spot. Now I'm just dialing in the amp. You want some bass in the guitar amp, it doesn't need to be overbearing. But like that, it's just way too thin. Especially with really down-tuned guitars. This is in drop B-flat, I believe, is what I record this in. It's not sounding too bad right now. Add the gate in there for kicks. Now let's... uh. Let's add in another amp. Let's see if we can maybe make this even better sounding by making it a dual amp profile. Gosh. Okay, so let's mess with the mic position on the cab. I like this a little more. Way too thin, way too beefy. Right on axis is just too fizzy. That helped kind of remove some of the fizz and the top end shrillness from it, so I didn't mind that. I don't want all the fizz to go away, so um, I'm gonna leave that there. Let's bring in this EQ plugin. Let's high pass it. High cut at 18K. Adjust some EQ. Need some more mids. Let's check it with the mix. It's a little loud, I'm just gonna bring the level down. Actually has a lot of the similar characters to the sound on the record. Has this almost washy upper mid sound, but not too fizzy. That would be too fizzy. So I'm messing with this presence control. Let's check it against. Let's try this Reaper stock EQ. I'm not gonna high pass it too aggressively because the guitar tones are tuned down or the guitars are tuned down so much. You can get rid of the fundamental note if you do that. I'm just gonna come in and notch some stuff. Like this 3.9 3 4K frequency. So much smoother. Let's find another one. Add some mid-range. Doesn't sound like, on its own, it seems kind of like thin. But it occupies a space. Like, listen to it in context with the whole mix. It really fills it out in the best way.
It's like a honkiness there. Added some low mids. I think that's working really well. Let me solo it for you. So in Bias FX2, I use the Paul Arch amp, uh, bass at noon, middle, turned up quite a bit, a little more treble. Everything else is pretty evened out. The 808 OD overdrive, tone at about four and a half, level at about three. I use the matched Marshall cab, basically. I just kind of moved it a little more towards the axis and then notched out some frequencies with the EQ. And that's kind of a falling in reverse guitar tone sound. Thank you for watching that guitar tone match video. If you have any information about the tone or any comments about the final sound, let me know in a comment down below. If you have any other tones you'd like me to match, this one was highly requested. So I made sure to do this one. I'll upload the preset to the Bias FX2 Tone Cloud. Anyways, I have some free guides called the Home Studio Toolbox, which gives you a bunch of free tools for helping you start out in your home studio. If you're having problems getting the tracks to sound the way you want them to, go ahead and contact me at the email down below. Thank you so much for watching. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.